Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you the out-of-the-box features for Webster Commerce Gift Registry. We're going to use the Madison Starter Store like I always do and this is uh, a starter store that you can use as a starting point for your uh, e-commerce uh, web channel solution. And what you're going to see here is everything you get uh, out of the box in version 7. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we are in the Madison store. And what we want to do is, first thing we're going to do is going to go over to gift registry. And you can create a gift registry using an anonymous person. Um, or you can log in. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in. And after I log in, I'll be able to go to my profile screen and I'm going to go under my gift registries. And you can see that it's empty. So if I want to create one, I could come in here and I can create a gift registry. And you can pick the different event type. So if I say, let's see here, uh, you can do anniversary, birthday, I'm going to go ahead and do a birthday for my daughter. So let's do this. I won't have her exact date, for privacy issues. Um, it's going to be July 9th this year. And it's going to be um, Serena's birthday. Please come out and get what Serena asked for on this list. Thank you, Bob. Okay. I could also assign it a password. And this is interesting because this would allow me to um, send the gift registry to people and um, make them type in a password in order to even view the registry. So in other words, I can make it uh, private or I can make it public. I'm just going to go ahead and um, make this uh, public registry and not require a password. And let's see here. So ring the bell. New work. New work. One, two, two, two. And I'll have them email me at email.com. And we're going to go ahead and just have all of the shipping events um, sent to uh, Serena's house to her if they want to ship it or they can bring it to the birthday party. And you'll see some more options on that later. Uh, but I could have it sent to um, you know, a different address after the event uh, and before the event. So let's say it's like a wedding, uh, they're not going to be there, or you want it to show up, um, you know, wherever they're having their honeymoon, etc. So we do have a couple options here, but I'm just going to go ahead and have it all sent um, right to uh, our house. So now we can say uh, we want to display it online, we want to display it online, but only to guests who enter a password, or we want to do not display my registry online. We're just going to go ahead and display it completely online, and then I want to be notified of the email, and I also want to receive Madison's gift certificate to be available as a gift option for uh, guests. So let's go ahead and create it. Oops. The phone field. All right, so now you can review it. Everything looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. Okay. So that's my gift registry number. 
uh, although we're not really going to have to use that because it'll be accessible by uh, my name, for instance. So if I go over to the guest registry, I can now um, edit it. And now we can see our gift registry for Serena's birthday. And I can look at it, and it's got nothing in it. So now, to populate it, I just simply go in and start adding things to my registry. So we're going to just go ahead and put a bunch of things in the registry for Serena. So we'll do this. Quick info, add to Bell birthday registry. Oops, got to pick the size, 4T. Sorry, there's a garbage truck outside. You can probably hear that. <laughs> it's awesome. And let's see here. And we're also going to go over to back to apparel. And we're going to look at some dresses. see we'll do this one size 4t we'll add that one we're gonna add the jumper just populate it with a few just so we can get the idea so now you can see the the menu the uh, pop-up saying it's been added to the gift registry so now if I come in and I look at my gift registry I can see that it's got a bunch of stuff in there. So we can see that uh, we're requesting, you know, one of each, and we still need. So from from another person's point of view, they could see, you know, what's been fulfilled and what hasn't. So now we can see up here we've got these different links. We can open up different registry, announce the registry, register information, and receive gifts. So let's go ahead and announce it. So we can announce this to a family list. So I'm just going to say family, family at belfs.com. Uh, and I'll, I'll send this to my belts.com email Oops. and send me a copy of it here is the gift registry for Serena's birthday party in July And we can also pick a template. And we're going to use the nice green one there. And then we can send it. And after that, it'll be announced. And we can then go ahead and test it out. So we're going to log in as another person and go ahead and uh, test it out. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to the home page. And we're going to go ahead and log out. And we're going to log in as Pat. Okay. So Pat Garcia. And now what we want to do is we got the email, we got the notification, and we want to search for the registry because we lost the link. We deleted it. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Belf. And there it is, Serena Belf's birthday gift registry. So I can look this here. And I can see, oh, wow, okay, so she needs a couple things. Well, we're going to spend... You know what, we'll get her one of these and one of these. So we'll go ahead and add that to cart because they, they're still needed. And we can now look at the cart.
And there you go. So we did get a couple of discounts. You can see save 5% on all girls' dresses and skirts. And I'm going to go ahead and check out my button's not working well today. And we'll pick US regular delivery. Uh, we'll do a visa. Type in my credit card and click next. So this is my order summary. And it looks pretty basic. And you'll notice that it does show up as a gift item. So it does remember all of that information. And we're going to go ahead and order. So that's my order. And that's pretty much it. And I don't know if you noticed this, but I didn't pick the shipping address to the registrant. Um, I sent it directly to me because I'm going to be uh, actually going to the party. But I could have had it shipped directly to the house. I probably should have shown that. <laughs> Uh, so now we're going to sign out and go back in as um, myself and see if the orders have uh, updated my gift registry and my counts have been uh, changed. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're going to log in as myself. Don't worry about that error and we're going to look at my gift registry and we're going to see now that we have received the two gifts that were ordered. Now what we can do is go in and look at our received gifts and I actually just got done filling out the thank you note so Sent on three twenty-eight. Sent on three twenty-eight, uh, and you could see that it was by Patrick. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now this is just a memo for my own purpose, so it's kind of a, a note to tell me that yeah, I went ahead and sent uh, the thank you, and I can go ahead and now save this. And now it's updated. There you go. So that is uh, gift registry. Once again, it's all out of the box. Um, you can certainly customize the user interface to your liking. Uh, but pretty much all the code is, is there to have a fully functional gift registry. All right. Uh, thank you for watching.